This is my city Guelph. Chances are you've probably never heard of it. That's okay. That used to be me too. But like me, you'll probably fall in love with it too. This quaint city has a charm that's hard to resist. So welcome, welcome to Guelph, welcome to the real city. So our plan today is to explore a bit of Guelph. We've been here for about four months and we have barely scratched the surface of what Guelph has to offer. So today we are going to check out some places. I mean, summer is coming to an end and if we don't do it now, when will we be able to do it? So yeah, I will take you guys along on this exploration, <laughs> exploration journey. A little bit about Guelph. Guelph is also known as Canada's Royal City and it is a charming and picturesque small city in southwestern Ontario, just about an hour's drive from Toronto. It was a really hot day, so our first stop was the Boathouse Ice Cream Place, which is always overflowing and buzzing with human traffic because it's apparently one of the best ice cream places in Guelph. But I think it also helps that it is right next to the Speed River, where you can also like go on kayaking and canoeing adventures. And of course, not to mention that it is also close to one of Guelph's iconic landmarks, the Timber Frame Pedestrian Bridge, which leads to a really scenic park and trail. We waited for quite a while on that ice cream queue. So of course, after getting our ice cream, we sat by the river, soaking in some of the views for a bit, before making our way across the bridge to sit at the park for a bit more. Focus. So we're going to talk about a bit about growth, okay. in the sense of like, um, in the sense of. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why are you looking at me so seriously? I'm listening mm -hmm. to you and I'm paying attention. Later, I say I'm not paying attention. Okay, in the sense of like how we feel about it. For example, when um, he first of all told, told me that we were going to move to Guelph. I was like, Guelph, I've never heard of you before. I'll be like leaving Nigeria to go to one ancient place like that. Hmm. Yeah, but I came here and it's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, I think obviously I had never heard of Guelph before. Yeah, same here. But I'd never heard of Guelph in my life. <laughs> so like when, when I was, was in Tiki, I'm like, ah, Guelph, okay. And then I did a bit of research on the place. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. I, I, I somehow went down a rabbit hole and I saw like a, a guide to Guelph and I took the leap. I remember mm -hmm. I, when I came for my interview, I, I then took a walk around town, just kind of see like downtown, yeah. how, how it looked and stuff. It's, yeah, it was giving about on vibes. It was? Yeah, in the sense that it's, it's- Calm and peaceful. Calm and peaceful. It's an hour from the major city. So if you want to like just chill, relax, you stay in golf. If you want to party, turn up, find a way to Toronto. 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 Yeah. Actually, like it. I think for me, the first time that we came here, when we moved, that your friend like brought us, I didn't see much. We just went to Stone Road Mall, mm -hmm. and so I didn't. We really just looked like every other random place. But then we went downtown, and I was like, yeah, that's the ish. Yeah, downtown. I like downtown because mm -hmm. like everywhere has 
the building the buildings have character that's what i like to say they actually do have character and everywhere is just so nice and fun and good to yeah. look at I and mean, that will be our next stop so we're going to downtown yeah. next yeah so golf is a nice mix it's a nice mix like it has obviously it also has a university oh yeah we takes out most of takes most of south Guelph. So that's where you have the university, you have, you know, some things. Then you have like the east side, which is more suburban families. Mm. You have the west, which is like... What's in the north? That's a good question, actually. <laughs> I have no, I don't think we've actually really gone to north. Yeah. North Gulf. The south is university, east is where we are now. So yeah, we've not actually really gone to north, north side of Gulf. We should make a trip down there. Maybe. Yeah, when our tour guide... Yeah, so basically, <laughs> um, a friend of mine, Nick, was supposed to take us around town because, like, he's been here for five years. Unfortunately, he fell sick. Um, so Nick fell sick. Nick and sick. Sorry. Oh, you were saying. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to downtown next. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. See you in a bit. Did you see her jump? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Downtown is the heart of the city and one of my favorite places to wander around. The first time we came downtown, I was stunned by the architecture. I totally was not expecting the rich heritage buildings. I like to say that the buildings have character. Guelph's downtown architecture is really captivating. It has like these beautifully preserved 19th century buildings, you know, with the arced windows, the ornate detailings and limestone walls. We kicked off our tour by checking out the Grand Basilica of Our Lady Immaculate, which is a Catholic church, a national historic site in Canada, and a classic example of the downtown architecture. One day soon, I intend to actually attend their church service and see the view of girl from the top. Today was just not that day. Aside from the architecture, another thing that makes the downtown area even more charming is its vibrant patio restaurant season. Many of these restaurants have this lovely patio set up with lights and umbrellas that just adds to the already picturesque landscape. You should see it at night, it's really a sight to behold. So we've been out all day, well not all day, like all evening, and we've only achieved two things. <laughs> We actually only went to the ice cream place, the boat house, and downtown. So I don't even know. I think that we're going to have to come out tomorrow again. What would have been nice would be to end this with like dinner or something nice. But there's rice at home, so <laughs> we're just going to go home and eat our rice at home. Oh Lord, my father, deliver <laughs> me from this bus. The next day, we decided to take things a bit slow and we only headed out later in the day to take a scenic walk downtown, starting from the iconic Red Brick Cafe. Everyone says that you should always check out the Red Brick Cafe if you're in Guelph. We just use it as photo ops, <laughs> nothing else. But we've walked down this path, actually, in the past. And every time I pass here, it's always like, wow, this is a whole different side of Guelph. I really like it. It's very like downtownish. No, because like the downtown in Guelph is very different. The buildings are different. But then you come here and there's graffiti and you're like, okay, finally, this feels like downtown. Guelph's beauty extends beyond its historic architecture and charming downtown. It also has really lush greenery and beautiful gardens. One thing about the city of Guelph that I love so much is how behind every corner there's a hidden gem. You just need to take a walk and before you know it you stumbled upon something beautiful. Summer and autumn are usually the best times because honestly just look at it. The colours are vibrant, the city is nice and it's just happy, you know? I absolutely love it here. 
Another thing I really like about Guelph is how there's like a bit of history everywhere you go. So you see buildings like this and um, there are stories that tell you what the building signifies. And it's all really cool and fun, you know? The history of building. <laughs> Look at this bug. Convention is a great idea. Let's mm -hmm. change. Okay. Sure. <laughs> and I push you jump up here. Yeah? Okay. Three, two, two one. <laughs> I saw the debug. Damn it! Oh my breast. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Great, let's just <laughs> Alright, so to kind of sum it up, we've gone around Gulf a bit, showed you guys a bit of our city. Yeah. Um, but with every city there are the pros. And they are the cons. Mm -hmm. For example, you hear like Gulf is a small city and you think they are going to come here and live your best affordable life. But nope, <laughs> it's actually pretty expensive. Housing here is expensive. What else is expensive? Um, yeah, I think the main thing is just housing. housing. Gosh. Housing. I mean, generally in Canada, grocery prices are going up. So that's a different ballgame, but that's everywhere. But definitely Gulf, you know. For a place yeah. I've never heard before, the cost of living was... Actually, for a place you've never heard of before. Yeah, but in their defense, um, my, my, my colleague told me that it's mostly because during COVID, mm -hmm. a lot of people moved out of Toronto and they moved into like oh. places. So the city has not okay. been able to develop as fast as people are coming in. So what's mm -hmm. happening then is there's a scarcity and then, you know... Prices go up. Prices go up. Fair. Um, so I know for sure Fair. that the, I know that there's a council meeting where they want to discuss like the high cost of living. So hopefully something happens. But it's what it is. Crossed. On the flip side, um, I really love how, where Gulf is positioned. Yeah. It's kind of like, I don't say a distance, but it's far enough from Toronto that you don't have the stress of Toronto, but also it's close, close enough, enough that you can that just pop in. To just <laughs> pop in and pop out. So it, it gave me the feeling of being in Badon. Like, I knew that Lagos was an hour away. Mm. I never had to deal with the traffic. So, girls sort of like that. If I need to go to Toronto, it's an hour, Missaga, 45 minutes. London. Um, London, Brampton, an hour, an hour or so. Kitchener. Brampton, Kitchener. <laughs> so, it's like so many places around that I can easily get to. Um, and it's just at the right spot. What else would you say? Um, I just, I, th I think that for me, it's kind of like Ibadan, like you said. So it's like very calm living. It's like I go to Toronto and people are just driving like crazy people. Mm -hmm. And there are so many human beings on the road. But here it's pretty chill. And for someone like me, it's, I like it. Yeah, I think that's one thing I really like. The fact that like, I can wake up and I legit, it takes me eight minutes to, to, get, to, to, work. to get to my office. Yeah, everywhere is um, close to each other. <laughs> yeah, and everywhere is pretty connected. So one other good thing I really like is the transport system. I know some people dislike okay. it. I, I have like the fact that every single bus gets to the city center. Like the train station is, train station bus station are right at the city center and every single bus goes back there. So it's like you're going somewhere, you should know that from your house, you get to the center process center you get out and that's also a con because then the interconnection is not so great so something that usually if you're driving can take you like maybe 15 minutes but taking the bus can take you 30 for five minutes just because of the the route yeah i don't know anything about bus because now nah. i've misplaced once so yeah so i guess that's pretty much it yeah i'd say that's pretty much it um, yeah. the other thing though is because it's a university town it has its high and low period. So we came in summer. Yeah, and like was, June? Yeah, a lot of students were not here. So mm. it was like, okay, come leaving. Now it's September, schools are back, and it's like the population of Gulf has tripled. Speaking of university, we were actually supposed to also tour the university because it's surprising. We have never been there. We passed it when we were going to buy stuff. But I don't think we um, estimated the time that we actually need to explore Gulf, so I think that that would probably de be another day or a separate yeah. video. And Who the good knows? thing is we're here for a while, at least yeah. so we at would least get to see a whole lot more, mm -hmm. get to a whole lot of parks. I think I'm really looking forward to that. Um, yeah. Hopefully before winter is here proper, <laughs> <laughs> get to explore, because once winter comes, it's inside, oh, you're lower. <laughs> inside house, office and back. Yeah. So yeah, um, hope you... This has been yes. fun. Been fun. No, 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 no. Um, I've also seen so many places I've never seen before in Guelph, which was nice. So yeah, yeah, looking forward to exploring more, looking forward to seeing more, I'm looking forward to showing you more. My beautiful city, a beautiful life in Canada, with my beautiful wife. <laughs> yes. Now come and get me down from here. <laughs> come for my breakfast, you. I'll carry you. Don't worry. Uh uh. Okay. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move.
Вот. Давай ты. 